In our last video, I kind of addressed these long travel days we've had. I naively said that we're going to change that. Maybe cut it in half. Oh, we changed it. <laughs> yeah, right. We added another hour to our last drive. Six. That's six hours. We pulled into today's destination right at sunset. Look no further for an example of how not to do something. Next one. I promise. We passed several more lakes and a few impressive bridges, not to mention some really beautiful countryside. The freeway kind of reminds me of ribbons and bows. You have ribbons which turn into bows as you get closer to the prize. Kind of like the freeways, which could be the ribbons and the big interchanges, the bows. That, that sticks in your mind the next time you're driving. We left Tawakoni, Tawakani, I'm probably butchering that. Anyways, we left the lake around 11 a.m. Our trip will take I-20 West and circle south around Dallas and Fort Worth. A 
Okay, I can't say those two cities without thinking of Jack Elam. The old saying was that he had one eye looking at Dallas and the other at Fort Worth. Sorry, just an old joke. As the sun was setting, we pulled off the freeway, hoping to quickly secure our space for the night and get a good stretch and some needed rest. But no, oh, you forget who this is. Our GPS took us right to the address we plugged into it. Nah, this doesn't seem right. Must be the park right next door. Well, this isn't it either. So Shelly quickly looks up the name and address of the park, and yes, we had plugged in the wrong info. And there it was, 100 yards further down the road.
I think maybe we'll stay here for a couple of nights. Thanks for laughing with us. You do help us keep our sanity. See you next Sunday at 5 p.m. Arizona time. Travel safe and try to do it with a smile. <laughs>